Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you can be watching this video. Today is Saturday, January 22nd of 2022. It is 1140 and I just completed my first Grub. It's actually my fourth Grubhub order on a Grubhub platform, but it's my first one for the day. Uh, I do not have a screenshot. It was $5 for half a mile. I think it was a half a mile or 0.9 of a mile or something like that. I still trying to trying to work on way where I can start taking screenshots. It's just, you know, it doesn't have a timer for how long that offer is. And you have the pressure, you don't have time to take the screenshot. You're trying to, you know, so it's kind of a, trying to, you know, break through that and uh, start making those screenshots. When I started with Uber, I had the same issue forgetting and then fear of uh, missing out it was a good one so I am uh, on pause on DoorDash um, where I put it on pause uh, because I want to get this uh, Grubhub order and second I want to get out of the Nicholas Mill area um, so let's go back and see where we at uh, I'm scheduled only till 11.30. Oh, no. Sorry. Till... No. Great. I just hit the wrong button. So, 12.30 to 1, I guess. That's my next option. Um, I'm just messed up. So, ratings. Customer rating 4.9. On uh, Uber, I believe it's 4.88, 14% uh, substance rate, 96% completion rate. I had an order yesterday, I had it to cancel, and I believe, no, it's not going to be on my dash along yesterday. I actually got two orders. I got an order from a Thai place, and I got an order from uh, Burger King. I did, uh, with Uber Eats of Burger King and DoorDash on time. When I went and I was, and instead of you know making circles, I thought on my way I'll grab the Burger King, then I'll go pick it up on time. Got stuck at Burger King for like 15 minutes. I knew if I gonna continue to pick it up at the Thai, uh, they will uh, violate me for showing up the restaurant late. So to avoid that violation, I just uh, unassigned that uh, Thai order, uh, which if Uber, if DoorDash would go away with these violations for showing up late, I would have never done that, but that's on them, they want to violate us, that's on them, so, um, so I canceled that, and that's where we dropped our uh, completion rate again, I guess it was at 97. And then, um, and then I delivered that to Burger King, and and customer took my tip. So, on uh, Uber Eats, just gave me one dollar instead of the amount that was originally offered. Let's go back. And hey guys, I know it might not make sense for you guys because you might be in a different market. I don't live in Lexington. I come out to Lexington. I don't have time to, you know, when it gets busy, get in my car and drive in my own town because it's, Lexington is over an hour away from me. So learning a area on a weekend for me, it's hard. I usually when I come out here, I want to make money, not, not you know, play. Like right now, I, I just messed up into the dash. So now I need to wait till 12.30 or about 12.15 before I can get a, on a dash. I'm hoping uh, Uber and Grubhub will be kind to me and will give me some orders. And I'll be, and you know, I do not want to waste an all day just to make a hundred bucks uh, on a weekend. That's why I one of the reasons why I do not like coming out on the weekend. Um, 
you know, if I can, I want to make the 200. So, those of you that are local here and you guys are suspecting me to tell you guys where to dash, how to dash, how to make 200 bucks on a weekend, I'm sorry, guys. Maybe you guys can share it with me. I would appreciate it because I do not know. I just come in and wherever it just get, picks me up, takes me. Uh, also on the weekends, there's a lot more traffic than on a weekday. Uh, especially in the area of the mall. In the area uh, where there's a lot of good restaurants. So, um, yeah, that's another reason why I hate dashing on the weekends. You know, it kind of feels almost as if uh, I'm back in the uh, Christmas season on the weekend. But don't take me wrong. I have I have seen some very nice orders on the weekend as well. So it's not like there is no good orders. It's just... They're not easy to come by. Not easy to find them unless you know exactly where to be. Maybe I should have stayed at home and... Ooh, just got myself on the dash. Let's get this stuck completely before somebody else does. Perfect. I do need to sit down one of these weekends when I'm off and create a video how to analyze your market and the restaurants. Look at that. Well, that is what I was actually suspecting. Like, of course, I was hoping for better pay, but uh, I will take uh, $8 for 8 miles. Take me back into Nicholasville. Oh, well. Not exactly where I want to be, but it is where it is. Ooh. So let's grab it and let's go Head and west. make some money. Okay, I got the order packed up, but I messed up and I have a feeling it's going to cost me big time. I had zero cancellations on my uber eats account that means i have not canceled a delivery yet uh they send me a three dollar delivery i didn't even look where it's going and instead of hitting the cancel button or i thought i hit the cancel button let's put it this way it actually Assign me a delivery. And since I already have this uh, Evans order going south on DoorDash, doesn't matter. Use where the it left goes, two lanes to turn left south. on the East Brannan Road. I was not In 600 to... feet, use the left two lanes to turn yes, left onto US 27 South Lexington Road. Going, I just canceled it, so. Ooh. I hope, I didn't even look at the mileage, it said 20 minutes, and for $3 for 20 minutes is just wasn't right in my vocabulary, man, I'm, I'm really messing up today. Um, I think I'm rested, lately I've been waking up at night and not sleeping for an hour to two hours when I wake up. Oh well. Let's get this done and I hope I won't do any more mess ups today. Which I thought I can't I just cannot believe it that I would actually hit the wrong button. That's Is it possible that they purposely 
even though I canceled, they purposely assigned it to me and pretended like as if I right had the wrong spot. I have not to do. If you guys out there seeing the same situation, you guys know for sure, you hit the cancel button, let me know. Because this is not fair if that's what they're doing purposely. Because nobody should be delivering $3 three dollar orders no matter on what platform that is Oh, okay, I guess you guys are sitting here and waiting. Sorry for that. I forgot to pause you guys. So you guys seen, I got the DoorDash, which I'm uh, finishing finalizing. Stop by. I got an offer on Uber Eats. And picked up that Taco Bell, which goes south. And then they're kind of splitting up both directions. So I'll completely get the uh, DoorDash complete. How about I get the uh, hop over to the other direction, get the Taco Bell. And then as I was at the Taco Bell, I got a Grubhub order. And I think I might be, what is the street maple? I'll turn this on so I can. Okay. Um. So then I got this Grubhub order, 13 bucks. If I would have, I would have probably went back and picked it up from the. Take the next left onto East uh, Maple Street. From the, because it wasn't too far, but I wasn't sure where it goes. And then I would put the Jeopardy, the DoorDash. Even DoorDash, I have a lot of time. I need to deliver by 12:30. If you guys go back, I'll deliver by 12:13. So I have a lot of time with the DoorDash delivery, so I could have done, but then I'm not sure. Jeez, maybe I should have went back and picked that one up. But again, with the uh, Uber, I don't, didn't want it to create where customer pulled his tip again, even though it's five something delivery. Let me look back. 556, so 
they're not much to pull from there. So let's get this one done and then do the other one. And hopefully Grubhub won't complain that I showed up to the restaurant too late. I am dashing today in Nicholasville, which I never do. So most restaurants from, to me are new, including that Taco Bell. Continue on East Maple Street for half a mile. Okay, let's get this done. I versus pack today, hidden tip on this order, eight bucks. We have entered it. Okay. Let's go to Uber. We have 1.7 miles. Seven minutes. Just ahead, go. make a left turn on Miles Road. So let's get that one done. And we'll get the second order out. And then we'll go get that grub hub order. Make a left turn on Miles Road. In a quarter mile, make a right turn on Williams Road. I will be probably 15 minutes late to grab her. We'll see. Pick up. Okay, I did a drop off the Uber order, and I'm kind of analyzing this Grubhub order. I was supposed to pick it up by 12.16, right now, 28, and I have three more minutes to go, so I'll be about 15 minutes late on a Grubhub order to pick up. I received the 1203 man the time that flies quick so since I've been at Taco Bell it's almost an hour, uh, half an hour it's gonna be half an hour by the time I get to pick up so yeah I should have picked up that order oh uh, well before when I'm delivering but again Captain D especially if it's that big order that they ordered it takes about 15 20 minutes to prepare so maybe it's a good thing I didn't waste my time I don't know never know because you cannot be at two places at the same time so but I'm almost At least based on GPS, I'm almost there. I never noticed there's a Captain D there, so. We'll see what happens. Okay, I got that Grubhub order picked up. I do apologize if you're not able to see that Grubhub information because I am running it on a second phone. Uh, 1,000 feet turn left onto Village Parkway. Uh, so I can get the pictures because they sync to Google and eventually sync to the phone, but not uh, the. Take the next left on the Village Parkway. Take the next left onto Peachtree Road, then turn left onto Lime Lane. So. Uh, that's why you guys are not able to see it, but I think I should be okay with that, right? Okay. I completed it seven minutes later than the Grubhub promised these people. Would I have been in a good shape? I do not know because I don't, it was a two bags of food so it probably took Captain D a little while to make it so I probably would have not been able to get it right off the back otherwise 
order probably would have been perfect if uh, you know Captain D order would be ready. I also picked up a five dollar Uber Eats order. And Just ahead, make a right turn on North Main Street. And we're going to where? Uh, Zaxby's. Make a right turn on North Main Street. So let's go pick it up. And did I just turn the right place? Oh, it's In a quarter mile, street, proceed okay. straight on North Plaza Drive using the upcoming right lane. Okay, go pick it up from there. That's going to be my third pickup from Zazbik in Nicholasville in Lifetime. And the second today. Using the right lane, proceed straight North Main Street. Okay, I picked up the order on my way, three minutes. And I just found a nail in my front left tire. So now I know why I'm losing air. So another trip to Costco. Man, I'm tired of these Costco trips. You go to Costco, they take forever. But I guess it is what it is. If we consider that we started um, dashing at 10.30, which is about probably right, uh, I just don't remember, don't remember exactly when the Grubhub order I received. So that means we're coming up to an hour and a half. I have 29.42 so far made. That is five dollars and thirteen eighty-six on Grubhub. Um, Eight dollars on DoorDash and two five-dollar delivery. First one was five fifty-six. The second I forgot to do a screenshot, so I know it's five something. So we can, you know, probably round that off to thirty bucks. Um, now it kind of got silent. See if I can still reactivate DoorDash or it expired. Expired. So 11:43 is when I got on DoorDash. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to get on the DoorDash South until 5.30 to 9, which is already scheduled. Prime third 5 to 8. eight. So yeah. Um, not too many choices. You know, the more I drive, I'm starting looking into that. If drivers have a proper equipment, like catering bags, uh, Hot, the smaller bag, the hot bags, as DoorDash would like to call them, um, space blankets, and blankets in their car. If they can keep the food warm, and not all food like to be warm because it does get uh, soggy and wet from the heat and moisture that it uh, releases. 
but uh, if you can keep the food warm I think drivers should have a choice to deliver the food within an hour and I would like to actually have that question because you know if you give a drivers a choice from the time the food was prepared and rest from the time the restaurant put the food in a catering bag at their place and driver was requested and a driver committed to a delivery from that point driver has a total one hour to the to deliver and keep the food warm as much as possibly. Okay, Cracker Barrel. It is a little small pay, but I'll take it. Head to your pickup at Cracker. Head to your pickup at Cracker Barrel Old Country Store, 4089 Lexington Road. So, um, as long as customer can keep that food warm, that means possibly buying some kind of a heater coil or something to create a to create a heat as well as some kind of a small fan so inside in the bag the air can be circulating that will allow uh, the moisture not to create the food soggy and if restaurant properly package the food in paper bags before it goes into a plastic bag and plastic bag not prop not sealed kind of in a form like the, the uh, McDonald's does but I was in two miles, make a left uh, turn on Brandon Road. From the food, separate bags so they can go in separate uh, catering bags. I think we can actually have food delivered, customer satisfied, because food still will be warm and eatable. And at the same time, Are we going to crack Crackleville? Come on. We all know Crackleville. They're just not friendly to deliveries. I personally believe they shouldn't be doing deliveries at all. They're not treating the drivers fairly. And having food ready on time. Oh well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you should lose. But that's gonna put me at 36 bucks for the two. In one mile, make a left turn on Brandon Road. For the two hours, if I can complete it within half an hour. So yeah, uh, because end of the day, in order to make us true independent contractors there's less couriers first the pay has to be reasonable and fair second we should have a freedom of choice of doubling and tripling what we have in the in car in a half mile make a left turn on Brandon Road uh, that means you know buying uh, labels so we can properly label what's where so we can you know properly label when we do come to a client so it reminds us that there is also a second package in a cold compartment or something um, you know all of that stuff costs money costs time and I personally believe that with you know money and time it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be compensated. I do understand when you're in the business for yourself, 
you are looking into profits and losses. And losses is also uh, acceptable as a self-employed. Now, can you actually... Well, that means you're supposed to have profits. That means the profit that you have should be good enough to compensate the losses. And what are our losses? Risk of our health. Risk of our vehicle. Risk of, uh, you know, anything that helps us go out and make the money. You know, breakage of the phone. Those are all losses. That will cause us money to get back on the road. Now, what are our gains? Is good, properly priced. Make a left turn on deliveries. Brandon Road. And I believe it needs to happen. Okay, picked up the order. Turns out to be it was ready for me, which is not common at Crackle Barrel. Make a right turn to stay on Brandon Road. There is a possibility someone else on a sign that order. That's why it's. And when I showed up, it was ready. So um, it paid seven dollars, which means make a left turn on Nicholasville Road. For 20 minutes of the time. Uh, we have 10 minutes left. I doubt I did spend more than 10 minutes from time I got the order to um, to now. So I think I'm falling uh, falling in under 20 minutes. We had a little downtime uh, because we were heading. From uh, Nicholasville South, all the way up here without really much of any action until I got that offer. So where are we standing? We're standing at thirty-six dollars. I mean thirty-six fifty, roughly about. So uh, we need about three dollars more to close. To close the two hours, which will be at 1.30. We are 20 minutes away. Let's see if we can get uh, that three more dollars and hold our $20 status. I am not seeing a lot of... But of course, it's during the day. Some people are just waking up. It's even 1 o'clock. These people should have been woken up by 11. So for some of them it's breakfast, some of them it's early lunch, lunch. Um, some are out shopping and doing the things they need to do before another week work week starts. But end of the day, um, I think we're gonna start seeing uh, better orders. Uh, probably closer towards the night. So I don't know if I'm gonna stay that late, but we'll see. You guys can see it is doing me do uh, Uber Eats and with the help of Grubhub they're mostly keeping me busy and in one mile make a right turn on Mano War Boulevard so you know if DoorDash doesn't want me on their platform I'll jump on whenever, you know, schedule is not busy, but I am not going to force myself. And since Uber and uh, Grubhub are taken care of with the orders, I don't see a point going back in the top dasher.
In a half mile make a right turn on Mano War Boulevard using the upcoming right lane. Now for those of you that are a top dasher here in Lexington, and if you know a trick how to get yourself as a top dasher for the next month by dashing in a certain place or something, like I used to dash in Danville. Using the right lane, qualify, make a right turn on Mano War Boulevard. Uh, then, you know, do so. Because then you can actually have yourself, you know, to dash any time option. For me, it's just not worth taking this 225, these Walmart orders, and then not able to get on a platform to even take those orders. It's just not worth it. So I don't see a point for those of you not to even try to. You know, just add a couple more apps to it. I know Sparks, Walmart Sparks are right now hiring. Hopefully they're better. I have not tried in Lexington area and see if they're better. Um, but my understanding, you have to get on the schedule with them. I have not seen it, but based on what I read, when, because I was actually signing up, I never completed the sign up. Uh, I got to, uh, for them to do background check, I completed the background check process for them to check. But uh, they've been sending me something. I guess they completed the background check and wants me right now to complete the activation process, but I have never got back to it. When I realize that, I have to go on a schedule. For me to go on a schedule is just not... You guys know where I live. I showed you guys multiple times and... It just doesn't work for me. I too far. In one mile, make a left turn on Tate's Creek Road. But, you know, let's get this delivery complete. By the way, guys, be, you know, watch your navigation. Sometimes these navigations will send you down roads that you shouldn't be going. I could have went down to the light. Make a right a turn on turn. Park Place Boulevard, no, then make a left turn on Tate's the Creek Road. Shopping center. So I could skip the intersection. Make a left turn on Tate's Creek Road. Okay, I completed the delivery a little bit earlier. I was on the phone with an, uh, with an accountant that had one of those, you know, signs on the, on the yard, uh, because I don't want to really leave the guy that I've been working with, but again, he's in Idaho, and I wouldn't mind maybe somebody local, uh, I'm not sure, I don't know, we'll see, so, uh, we are at 1.30, that's two hours in, uh, nothing changed, no additional offers, we're standing at 36.50, so I have dropped four dollars, less than four dollars. So we're so I guess we would consider it as what 18, 18 dollars an hour at this point, 18.15, something like that. Uh, let's go see if I can get a DoorDash. Yeah, there were supposed to be sensors coming in for tire pressure for tires and today and it have just arrived at local Amazon today so they doesn't look like they'll be delivered today. So yeah, I, I cannot get on the schedule uh, 5:30 unless something pops open. And this is one of the other things, Saturdays are constant when you get on the schedule, but they're not, but we, on Saturdays you don't get as much of those peaks. So 36 bucks, unless I drive to Costco and see if they can fix my tire and kind of kill my time, but I'm, 
I don't know. It looks like it. It's not busy enough for me to be busy. But you guys have seen. Uh, I'll open one more document so you guys can see. Numbers might not be accurate. Let me pause you guys for a minute. So this is kind of the rough estimate. Cheese, um, that yellow on a black background. That's not, I'm not sure how to change that. Uh, but I made 1765, roughly about. Still, one tip did not go through. So on Uber, it shows a little bit less. I made eight dollars. Oh, found a mistake. So the eight dollars not counted. Oh, it was actually forty-four fifty-nine. So that eight dollars right there on the DoorDash, and eighteen bucks, eighteen eighty-six on Grubhub. So it puts me at actually forty-four fifty-nine. So not doing too bad. Um, so yeah, I actually uh, doing over twenty bucks an hour average, but it, it is low. And I'm gonna go to Costco and see if they can uh, deal with a flat tire. If not, then figure out something else. Be blessed, guys.